This question was from the May 2014 Algebra 1 test. Question 3 was asking you which table shows the same rate of change or the slope, the same slope as the equation that they give us. So instead of using the slope formula, what we can do is we can take the calculator and we can use this thing that I like to call stat edit and then stat count. And what this is going to do, it's actually going to write the y equals mx plus b, the whole entire linear equation for us. So what you do is you go under stat edit and you'll see L1 and L2. So for L1, that's just a fancy way calculator language of saying put in your x values. So all of your x values go under L1. Put all of your y values under L2. That's the first step, stat edit. Then we're going to go stat calc. And you're going to see something very familiar, number four, AX plus B. The AX plus B is calculator language for MX plus B. The A and the M are the same thing. So when the calculator gives you a value of A, they're telling you that's the slope. The value of B is going to be the Y-intercept. But in this case, we're just con concerned about just the A. So we're going to scroll down to calculate, and they tell me that the A is 4. The slope is 4. Does that match up to negative 5 eighths? No, it does not. So the slope is 4, we're looking for negative 5 eighths, the answer is not A. So let's jump down, let's look at another one here. We're going to go back under stat edit. Let's look at, we're just going to go over to, to letter C here. So L1 and L2, so for L1 we're just going to type in all the X values, negative 4, 2, 4, and 8. Type in all of your Y values. And realistically, since we know this is a line, you only need two points, you could just type in two x, y values, but just for the sake of argument, we're going to type in the entire table. Go back under stat calc, number four. Scroll down to calculate, hit enter. This time they give me a decimal, negative 0.625. So I'm going to take negative 0.625 and I'm going to use this math frac enter and it's going to give me the fraction. So does that match up? Absolutely. We don't have to use the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula. So you can see how easy that was just using stat edit, stat cal. So our answer is C because we're just looking for the same slope. So here's another one. They give me a line. I know it's a line because when I connect the dots I can see that it's making a straight line. Not to mention it's going up the same. It has the same slope. So what we can do is we're going to take two points here. This is 1 comma 5. The next one is 2 comma 9. The question is asking you which one of the answer choices is on this line if I were to extend it out. Well, you know what? We're going to use stat edit to get the actual equation that represents these points. So we're going to clear everything out, L1 and L2. So we're going to type in, remember L1, those are my X values. L2, those are my Y values. So I'll just write that off to the side as a reminder here. Again, this is all calculator work. We don't have to worry about using that slope formula. So we're going to plug in 1 and 2 and then 5 and 9. Make your coordinates in L1 and L2. Go under stat. Go under calc number 4. But this time when we get the data, we're going to write the equation. Y equals 4X. We're plugging 4 in for A, which we know that's our slope. It's the same as M. All right. AX plus B is just calculator jargon for MX plus B. So write our equation. Y equals 4X plus 1. So we're just substituting 4 for A, 1 for B. And I can actually take this and I'm going to graph Y equals 4X plus 1 under Y equals. And I'm going to go to my table and see which answer choices are on this line. Now, yeah, you could extend this out if you wanted to and extend out the x-axis and the y-axis. You could do that. So we go to our table. Let's look. Do we see 519? No, I see 521. That's not going to work. 833? Nope, I need 834. That's not going to work. How about 624? No, it's 625. And if you look, you see 729. So 729 is actually on this line. 